Hi Scorpio, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of October 21st to October 27th, 2024? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Scorpio, and then I'll see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box below that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, here we go. Let's see your energy. Spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of Scorpio in regards to love for this week. Scorpio. What's the energy of Scorpio? All right, Scorpio, first card we have for you here is the Two of Wands. We also have here the Four of Cups. And we also have the Strength card. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Fool with the Eight of Cups, with the Three of Cups, and the Two of Swords here. All right, let's see what's going on. Scorpio. Two of Swords, Knight of Wands, Seven of Cups, Six of Wands. Okay. Hmm. So, Scorpio, in regards to your energy here. I'm not sure what you're looking at here because I feel like you're looking forward uh, with the strength card, the fool, the two of wands. I do feel like this is your energy um, concentrated on something. So I think I want to clarify this just to see um, before I say anything, just to see exactly what is this all about, because I do feel like you're focused on something. You're very focused, you're very um, concentrated, you're very, um, it looks like you're very determined to do something or to accomplish something or to manifest something for yourself. It does feel like it's for yourself. With the Fool and the Strength card, both of these energies are very independent energies. Yeah, very independent energy. So I do feel like whatever it is that you're focused on, it's it's something that you want for yourself, not for anybody else. Now, with the two of wands, some of you could be thinking about moving or um, relocating or maybe even traveling. But let me go ahead and clarify this. Spirit, what can you tell me about the two of wands, fool and the strength card? Okay, yeah, I'm looking at the Six of Wands. Six of Wands can represent victory and success. So some of you are focused on being successful in some sort of endeavor or, or some sort of project that you want to that you want to work on or that you want to be involved in. What's the 201? All right, so we have the death card. We also have the judgment card. And we also have the ace of wands. Yeah, ace of wands. The, um, so again, there's some sort of project or some sort of vision that you have, some sort of new beginning that you're wanting to pursue and that you want to manifest in your life but it feels like it's for yourself i keep getting it's not for anybody else with the death card i do feel like this whatever it is that you are thinking about pursuing you know it would it would create a big change in your life the death card is about big changes and big transformations so i do feel like you are thinking about doing something big in your life 
something that would, would create a big transformation in your life. I do feel like you're very excited about it. Um, you might even be a little bit nervous at the same time. Or simultaneously, I feel like you're excited, nervous and excited, but more so excited. Yeah, it feels like a new adventure for some reason. A new adventure, a new chapter, a new goal, a new accomplishment. And you're very confident about um, making it happen. There's something about you needing to be patient, you know. It's not quite the right time yet. But you know that... You know that you are, like, getting, getting near. Like, you're getting closer to whatever it is that you want to experience here and you're confident that you're going to succeed in whatever it is that whatever this is that you are focused on so I feel like you're doing your own thing you're living your life you're focused on yourself and you're doing your own thing and you are um, feeling excited about um, new, new beginnings in your life and new, new chapters in your life that you know are coming and that you know you're going to manifest and, and accomplish. I also feel like you have the resources is what I'm getting. Yeah, I keep, I, I, yeah, I'm getting that like you have the resources so nothing is like holding you back here. Um, you're not being challenged by anything. Like you have the ability, you have the resources, you have the freedom to, to, make, to make your dreams come true. And you're definitely going to embrace it. You are embracing it. Okay. Okay, so it feels good. Um, it feels like it feels like things are definitely going to be um, working in your favor um, as you move forward into your future. I'm definitely getting success for you in whatever it is that you put your mind to. Okay, so in regards to this individual here that's showing up for you, Man, this person is very different. Scorpio is what I'm noticing. Very much like the polar opposite um, energy. They're in the polar opposite energy as you. Unfortunately, I feel like this person is very lost in their life. You know, I feel like they're very... I don't know. They're kind of sad, depressed, lost, um, pessimistic. They're in this negative energy. They're they're harnessing negative vibration. Um, this is not someone who knows what they want, where they're going, what they want to achieve, what they want to accomplish. They feel very like isolated, and they feel very. Um, disconnected from themselves and disconnected from everyone around them um, yeah they're, they're going through a rough time is what I'm noticing they're going through a very rough time with the four of cups and the three of cups this is someone who finds themselves um, single they're single they're unattached, um, they're uninvolved, 
Um, and I feel like they don't like it. They don't like the fact that they're single, unattached, and uninvolved. I feel like this person wants to be with somebody, but the problem is that the people that are around this person are not people that they see themselves having any type of meaningful relationship with. Because I do feel like there are people, there are options, um, there are opportunities surrounding this person, but they just don't feel any type of special connection with any of them. Nobody is really catching their attention. Nobody is, um, provoking any desire within them. Um, nobody is like attractive in their eyes is also what I'm getting. They just, they don't feel attracted to any of them. And with the Eight of Cups, um, I'm also getting that this person, they can't stop thinking about you, Scorpio, because I do feel like you are someone who um, they were involved with and you are someone who they did feel a very strong connection with and who they were very, and, and who they were very drawn to and attracted to. And, you know, it's a different story with you. It's a completely different story with you. You did mean something to the, this person. You were valuable to them. They did see you as someone um, who they had strong feelings for. But it kind of looks like they lost you. Um, and now they find themselves just very... Um, unsatisfied with their life and unsatisfied with the uh, with the options that they have is what I'm getting so with the knight of wands here and the seven of cups to the two of swords like I said, with the Seven of Cups, this person has options, but they're not interested in the slightest. And they are showing up as a Knight of Wands energy here, a Knight of Wands person. So they are a very like passionate person, a very fiery person. Um, and they need to feel that, that strong sense of attraction to someone in order for them to um, pursue someone. They need to feel that strong physical attraction and that physical, pat like that physical chemistry, that um, that passionate energy that passionate vibration they need to like experience that with someone in order for them to pursue that person um. so i feel like the only person that they feel like the only person that they feel that with is with you scorpio so i feel like they're in this energy of feeling exhausted and tired of dealing with options that don't do anything for them. So here they are in this energy of pursuing you or, or thinking about pursuing you or wanting to pursue you. With the Two of Swords, I do feel like you block this person or you um, disconnected from this person. You haven't been talking to this person. And I feel like this person tried to not force the situation, not force the relationship here between the two of you. They try to just kind of find someone else to replace you with, but it kind of looks like they just haven't been successful and they're tired of dealing with duds. They're tired of dealing with people that don't, light a fire within them 
is what I'm getting. So here, like I said, they're headed towards you because you are that person that lights a fire within them that really makes them feel like attracted to you and, and passionate, provokes passion within them and desire within them. Um, so, okay. Let me clarify this Knight of Wands. Tell me about the Knight of Wands spirit with the Seven of Cups and the Two of Swords. All right, yeah, we have the Ten of Swords. So it kind of looks like, um, like I said, you two definitely came to an end. The relationship between the two of you came to an end. And like I said, they've been trying to like keep their distance from you. But they can't help themselves anymore is what I'm noticing. They, they need to see you again. They need to hear from you again. They need to talk to you again. So I do see this person like... breaking out of this restrictive energy that they were placing themselves in. Yeah. They were placing themselves in this restrictive energy because they were trying to hold back from you. What's the Knight of Wands here to? Tell me more about that. Chariot to the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, look at the Knight of Wands again. Knight of Wands, Six of Pentacles. Yeah, this person's in this energy of, you know what? I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. I can't keep holding back anymore. Um, I'm tired of these people around me, these options around me. I'm tired of seeing them. I'm tired of dealing with them. I need to, I need to go back to Scorpio and I need to see what I can do. I need to come up with something. I need to fix things because... Um, I'm tired of being alone and I'm tired of um, I'm, I'm tired of these mediocre options that I have. Yeah, I feel like this person's looking at the at the options that they have as as very mediocre, very, very mediocre. It's like they need to feel alive again. Right now they feel completely like dead with the death card, you know, like so unmotivated and so like depressed. Um, they need that spark of passion and excitement back in their life is what I'm getting. All right, so Scorpio, I'm going to stop right the reading here and I'm going to continue in the extended in the extended reading. I will be taking a deeper look at your person. I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you. What are their true and real intentions with you for this week? What actions will they take towards you moving forward? And what will the overall outcome be for this relationship? If you're interested, you can follow me there with the link below the video in the description box below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys, take care.